Hey y'all, welcome back to Hang Out with Liz. Today I'm gonna have a little makeup fun. I'm not at home, I'm at my daughter's. And I noticed that one of the subscription boxes I'm into has something called a blush stick as one of the options. And a lot of people were asking about it and saying they maybe probably couldn't use it, but they're actually really simple, really easy. And they're able to be multi-used so you can use it on your eyelids, your cheeks, your lips. It's kind of nice. Eye sticks are kind of the same thing. It's a really in thing right now. And they're really fun and they're really easy to do. If you can do a powder, you can do a blush stick. Today I'm going to use the milk one, milk makeup. And I'll show you that. Obviously I'm not wearing any makeup to start. So I'll be putting on some base in a minute so you can kind of really see it because I do have rosacea. And then on the other cheek, we're going to do a powder based one. And we'll see how this comes out. But I think you'll find out that if you can do one, you can do the other. And there are a lot of ways to do it. I'm going to show you the way I normally do it. And then I'll show you on my hand kind of a couple of the other options. Just so you can see it a little better. So let's get started, Sally. Hi, y'all. Okay, so here we go. Put on my cover up. And I do have a basic mirror here, so. And I'm just using a basic foundation. It's not a big deal. A little more right here. I usually start by dabbing it around. I want it and then I kind of just blend it through. Some people use a wet sponge, some people use a dry sponge. I use a dry sponge and you want to focus on the spots where it's the most red. I am a little bit on the blind side and this mirror doesn't magnify near as much as my mirror at home and the light is dead in it so I can't really see the same way. So give me just a minute here, let's blend that through. Deal with it. You can use as much or as little as you need. My cheeks are really red today because I'm traveling. So, if that happens, I kind of made them mad. Okay. I'm going to do a makeup look. It'll be fun. Okay. Next step. Once you get rid of some of that red, is your powder foundation. Okay. I like to use the back. And just kind of go through real quick. So what's everybody doing? How's your day going? And you can do contours and highlighters and all that too. But for now, let's get out our brushes and let's get started with some blushes, huh? I have this kit I brought, so I'm gonna use these. And I have a couple extra tools just in case, okay? And we're gonna get started. Let's start with just a basic one. Let's just do a highlight on one cheek, okay? Let's see how that looks. My blush of choice today. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the Tarte Reward. It's the one I brought with me. Okay. And it's the closest one I probably have to this coloring in the end. Okay. Get a little bit on my brush. You just kind of swipe it through like normal. You can see that coloring in there. It's on. These ones you handle a little bit different, but it's the same in my dough. Okay, you can use a sponge, you can use a brush, 
can just go straight with the stick and tap with your fingers. It's your choice. But you can swipe it. Some people do. I prefer a dab and twist. It helps me keep control over the color I'm using because, see, I want control. I don't want it to be bam. I want it to be just there, right? So you just do a little dab and twist. Dab and twist. Dab and twist. If it doesn't look dark enough, you can over dab and you'll see it goes a little darker. And then, yeah, that's plenty dark. You take your smaller brush for me and you kind of blend it through. See, it's starting to blend. Okay, and then I just happen to have my daughter's blush brush. I can really just finish it off. Okay, so I did the dab and twist and I did the apply, right? The other option you can do, and this one I'll do in my hand, you go straight across and you can see that color and then you just take it and you blend it through with a twist and a twist and you can see it blended. It blends really nice. It's a nice creamy coloring, okay? The other option is to do dab and twist again. Two, three, right? It's back on now. Okay, and you just take your fingers and you spread it upward. Very gently, tap it in. And it's in. Your color's in. So that's the three options you really have for it. Um, if you feel like you went a little strong on it, you can always, you know, cover up around it a little. Do what you need to do. Start over, wash it off, whatever. It takes a little practice. Some people prefer a sponge to it. Some people actually dab the sponge straight. Like that. It's the coloring on it. And then you just kind of dab, 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 and it dabs right in. So that's an option too. You can do that. There's all kinds of options for control. And it's actually really easy and simple to do. Really, you just need the stick and the finger even, and you can make it work. Because you can, because see, you take your hand again. Oh, I wiped it off. And you put it on to start, right? And then you just kind of pull it through. So really you just need a stick. See, and it goes right through. So that's your options. You can swipe it, you can dab it. Either way it works. I like it. It's got just enough color. Then just to finish it through, I'm gonna use a highlighter, same thing. I got powder highlighter and a stick highlighter and you can see the difference. We'll go to the stick first. This one I do pull through more and then you kind of rub in. You do just enough to feel comfortable. Okay. And then you do your traditional powder one. Let me get her open. Possibly. It's gonna give me a hard time. I'll do this one. Highlighter's a highlighter. Let's do the middle. in. We're just going to highlight through like we normally would. See? You got that hint of shimmer still. So that's how you do those. And just because we're here, we might as well. Let's finish off the look, just for fun. Let's add a little bit of an eye. Let's see what I got going on. It's fall, why not? Okay, I'm gonna grab my brush. Let's get that color we want. I'm gonna go in with this one and that one. Let's start with our deep tone first. And you just want to wipe it on there. Put it on the other side. Like I said, this is just kind of a quick look. Something simple and easy. Just for fun to finish it off a little. You 
can tell, but that color is coming through. It's going to be a nice, pretty coloring when we're done. I didn't even use a primer. Usually I do with these, but this one doesn't really need it. This one's the Fairy Tale palette. And normally I would use this primer, but I there's no primer today. Okay, let me get my... Um, Hmm, I didn't bring my brush switch watch. Oh, yeah. I'm switching brushes. I hate doing that. It's okay. Now we're going to go in with another color. Let's go with a nice deep color. Let's do him. He's pretty. small brush on me because I used it so let me just go into oh yeah that's gonna be a good color one eye is harder than the other because I have a lot of wrinkles and stuff it's almost it's almost hooded you can see it but it does end up usually the same color it just takes me an extra minute or two and the other one just naturally stays down, so you can see, kind of just goes quicker. Okay, blend that through, make sure it's blended right. Okay, now I got my two blushes on, so I could use a little bit more touch, I guess. Just accidentally rub them. Okay, now just pick a lippy, just for fun. I'm doing it without any glasses on. Start. Do my lip oil first. It's the peach one by Alta. You can also just use a tap stick. I use this one all the time. It's um, Crazy Rumors Honeycomb. I really like their chapsticks and lip balms. Just gives it a little more moisture so the color spreads more even. Actually, an hourglass one too, I think. Thank you, Lux. See, this one's going to be the True and Lucius. Keep in mind, I'm doing this semi blind. So I'll see it when I see it after I'm done, just like you guys see it. So yeah. Okay. So I have my my lippy on, my eyes, my highlighter, and my blushes. This is the milk side. This is the tart side. They are still two different colors because you know two different shadows completely. Hey, kitty, kitty. And yeah. I think it came out pretty good. I'm mad at it. If you wanted to, you could do a little mascara to finish it off. Sorry, I have to use the uh, mirror on this one. I've actually been very blessed with long lashes. Just a little bit goes a long way. Now for those of you that want to know, I just play around with makeup and have fun with it and kind of learn what works for me. So let me all learn it. Just have fun days. Anyway, so that's what I did. So that's my makeup look. <laughs> you can let me know what you think. It's just a quick look. But it's mostly to learn about this. So don't be afraid of these. These are actually pretty simple. They don't give off a ton of color. It's easily wiped out. I mean, literally, you just like blend it through. It's not a big deal. It's not anything you have to panic about or worry about. 
I mean, I do have contour and stuff I can play with, but for now, this is good. So, yeah, that's how you use a blush stick. It's pretty simple. You just dab it on, wipe it through, choice, sponge, brush. You can put it straight on the brush and come on. It's a very, very simple product. And the best part is, this can also double as a lippy and an eye. So, because the eye, you would just wipe it on like you would any other eyeshadow stick. And then the lippy, just you can dab it on your finger and put it on. You can do whatever you need to do. Same thing. So, it works. It's actually a really fun way to put on makeup. And it's simple, and it's easy, and it's quick. And then you don't have to carry this big, huge box in your purse. You just carry this. So, it's a good way to go. Especially if you're traveling. So that's how you use a stick. Again, it's really easy. You can swipe or you can do like a dab and twist like that and then blend it through with anything you have and make it go through that way too. Swipe, dabbed. The only reason I like the dab is it gives me more control. The only other thing I'm gonna say on this is the harder you push, the more color you get. So if you're just gently pushing, you're going to see that it comes out a little less. Let me see if I can show you. Gentle push. This is just like a hint of color there. And then a harder push is more color. So it's the same idea. It's just like with a brush though. If you do the brush with the powder, a gentle brush is not a lot of powder. And then a heavy handed brush is a lot of powder. So it's the same thing. Just a little different. So that's my video. I hope it helped. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see you all later. Bye y'all.